Hello people, welcome to this video, Claudemir here again. Let's talk today about frame rate for CCTV. This is very, very important. It is also the content of the Ultimate Security Camera Guide. I have the link here in the description. So just click and go for it. And also don't forget, subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up, your comments, and hit the bell notification. All right, let's talk about frames per second, FPS. When you have your camera, you need to capture images, right? And by capturing image after image and move, moving them in sequence, you can have your video. That's the basic principle. As you can see here, it, this is just an example more for an IP camera, but just to understand the concept here, we are capturing basically seven frames per second, meaning seven picture every second here in the camera. You see the, the lens, the light crossing the lens, hitting the sensor, right? There's the shutter here also. We're gonna talk about shutter later here in the channel, so don't miss other videos. So basically the camera is capturing seven frames per second, okay? And if you're talking about analog camera, you're going to record in your DVR. So you can gonna choose in your DVR how many frames per second you're going to record, okay? This picture here is just is just to illustrate the concept, but in analog world, you're gonna to capture in your DVR. So let's move on here to the next page so you can see what I mean. Here is an example of picture by picture. Okay, I'm capturing here somebody playing soccer. Let's say this is Neymar. Neymar is like playing soccer here. So he kicks the ball. The ball start going up and up and up. And of course, later it start coming down and down and down, okay? So he's kicking the ball and I'm capturing eight pictures here. So I'm capturing basically uh, eight frames per second. Every single second I have eight pictures like this. And if I move them in sequence, you can see Neymar like playing soccer like a professional, right? So the idea is that you can capture more than that. The usually uh, projects, usually the project uses uh, 15 frames per second. That's much, much better. Here, for example, I have eight images being captured every single second, but that can cause some discomfort for who's watching. The operator, for example, can get some discomfort on his view because eight frames per second is not enough. So you can go with 10, that will be much, much better, but 15, is even better because you don't have that sensation of robotic movement. If you're capturing less than 15 frames, usually for most of the people, they're gonna see like that robotic movement. If you see like a fluid movement, a better movement, it's better to capture 15 frames per second. So you can do also your calculation and see how much storage you're gonna need and for how many days you're gonna storage your video because if you capture more frames per second, you're gonna need more storage in your DVR, in your system. So basically 15, it's a good number and you can come here to your device. Here's an, a DVR, for example. Here's, a, I have a one from Hike Vision, and then you can come here to record and choose your frame rate. Look, uh, every DVR is different. Here in this menu, you can find here on this, this record, you just click here in this icon and you can open this page, but every DVR is different. But guys, the concept is the same. Doesn't matter what DVR we are using there. You're gonna find somewhere here in the menu that you can configure the frame rate. As you can see here, frame rate 15 frames per second for the mainstream, meaning when I'm capturing images, when I'm displaying the images in the DVR, it's using 15 frames per second, right? Uh, also to record, but when there is some event, some something like some movement, I can change to another value here. So let's say I can use 10 and 15. So if nothing's happened, I'm capturing 10 frames per second. If some movement happens, that's an event, I can capture more frames. So that that's the way it works. It's a, a smarter way to work. You can have a mainstream and a second string or an event string, right? And that is available in most DVRs, most devices. Okay, so you need to understand this. That's why you're here watching videos, learning more. 
And so don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your comment, your thumbs up and hit the bell notification. Thank you very much. And I see you in the next video. <laughs>